Praise the Lord. Greetings to you in the precious name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. God is a good God. He's an amazing Father. He's kept us safe. Hallelujah. Even though there are so many things happening in our world around us right now. Hallelujah. And you might be so close to it with COVID and everything. I pray that God will protect you and keep you safe wherever you may be. Hallelujah. That your 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 God's protection will cover you and your family. Hallelujah. Um, if you're continuously praying for India right now, we're continuously praying. Um, God is a supreme God. He's a wonderful Father. No matter what you're going through, just surrender your life to Christ and just give your life to Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. He can heal you. He can deliver you from sicknesses. Hallelujah. Just call on the name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. I want to say a little word of prayer before we get started. Hallelujah. Father, in the name of Jesus, we just come into the throne of grace right now. Father, I pray that you will speak through me. Use me as a humble vessel. God, Holy Spirit, speak through me today. Father God, I pray for India right now. Father, I pray that, hallelujah, people that are suffering and struggling with this disease of COVID. Father, I pray that you will just heal them. Holy Spirit, touch them where they are right now. In Jesus' name, hallelujah. Just touch your healing hands, Father God, and, and by your stripes, God, let them be healed in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Forgive our sins, God. I surrender India to you, Father God. India belongs to Jesus. Hallelujah. Lord, I pray that you will heal the land of India, Father God. Jesus, we love you so much, God. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Today I want to speak to you about uh, Jesus Christ, who is the Supreme God, or Paul um, is writing a letter to the Colossians, and this letter was written in prison. And Paul is writing a letter that you know um, that teaches there is some false false teaching going on in the church of Colossians. And um, so Paul in the Colossian church, there were several misconceptions about Christ that Paul directly refuted. Believing that matter is evil, false teachers argued that God would not have come to earth as a true human being in bodily form. And Paul states that Christ is the image, the exact likeness of God, and is himself God. And yet he died on the cross as a human being. They believed that God did not create the world because he would not have created evil. Paul proclaimed that Jesus Christ, who was also God in the flesh, is the creator of both heaven and earth. In a, the Church of Colossians, or the, the misconception, another one was, they said that Christ was not the unique Son of God, but rather one of the many intermediaries between God and people. And Paul explained that Christ existed before anything else and is the firstborn of those resurrected. They refused to see Christ as a source of salvation, insisting that people could find God only through special and secret knowledge. In contrast, Paul openly proclaimed the way of salvation to be through Christ alone. Paul continued to bring the argument back to Christ when we share the gospel. We too must keep our focus on Christ. Hallelujah. I love the episode, Paul. He was such a chosen man of God. Hallelujah. That just dedicated his the rest of his life for God. Hallelujah. And do whatever God wants him to do. Hallelujah. And we see that throughout the New, the New Testament when he writes to these churches. Even when he is in prison, he proves that nothing, there's no limit on what you can do, how you can spread the gospel. He continued to visit see people while he was in house arrest. He continued to write letters and he let them know that he's praying for all these churches and he's, you know, interceding for them. And anything that God would, you know, have him or, or any any kind of knowledge that he would get about God or the spirit realm, he would write it and he would, you know, make sure that he, um, his disciples or the people that were following him would know this. Hallelujah. So I love Paul and I wish we had more people like Paul that had the mind of Paul that that love Jesus with all their heart and no matter what you know they want to spend the God you know just spend their life uh, just just spreading the gospel of God hallelujah I pray that such generation will rise up again hallelujah and one of my one of my favorite people in in, um, in my lifetime is uh, was Reverend Billy Graham I loved his preaching he was very bold and he was very powerful he spoke the word of God he did not sugarcoat it he you know he talked about sin and he talked about Satan's lies and, and and we need more people like him hallelujah there's so many others hallelujah that stood up and preached the gospel but now it seems like everything is so confused and the devil is just infiltrating the church of god keeping it unholy and, and you know compromising and there's so many things that are happening in the church uh, world now so i pray that god will raise up good apostles you know and and powerful episodes and I pray that somebody will stand up to you know sin and and lead the next generation the right way hallelujah 
Now in Colossians chapter 1, Paul talks about the supremacy of Christ and perhaps he also breaks some of these misconceptions that were brought into the church. Paul addresses the person of Jesus Christ and defends that sufficiency of Christ was enough. Colossians chapter 1 verse 13, it says, For he has delivered us from the dominion of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of the Son he loves, in whom we have redemption, the forgiveness of sins. Hallelujah. Praise God. God has delivered us from the power of darkness. So there are dark Dark powers in this world there are rulers of darkness that are the heavenly hosts of wickedness we we see we read about all that in the Bible hallelujah so there are demonic beings there are deceptive beings that are trying to decept, you know deceive believers and lure believers into thinking um, you know like ways that are not of the Bible and ways that are not Christ-like and you know teaching believers that it's okay to live a certain way or it's okay to do certain things because God will forgive you God will forgive you but let me tell you be very careful when you're trying to compromise the Bible hallelujah if you are a true believer of God you know the Bible says either you're with me or you're not either you're in the light or you're in the dark hallelujah when you turn a light on and you walk into a dark room you flip the switch and you turn the light on light comes on darkness is gone you cannot live a sinful life and yet at the same time proclaim that you are a Christian. Hallelujah. Either you live in the light or you live in darkness. Hallelujah. Because once you once 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 Jesus comes or once you once the person dies, they don't, you know, they don't go in, in between a place between hell and heaven. They either go to hell or they go to heaven. Hallelujah. So it's our choice what we want to do. I'm not trying to scare anybody, but that's something that I feel very powerful about. Hallelujah. Once you're saved and you're living a Christian life, live a Christian life. This Decide to live what you know the way that God wants us to live and sometimes we think this Christian life is very you know it's very uh, hard to live and all that it's not it's not you know when you live in the spirit room God works everything out for your good and the more you get into the Word of God even just reading you know maybe just a little chapter in the Bible you see how much God loves us and you know the Spirit of God starts working in you the spirit man gets stronger hallelujah now when you step out into the world don't let that spirit of the world in infiltrate our body and our spirit hallelujah in Ephesians chapter 6 verse 12 through 13 it says for we do not wrestle against flesh and blood but against principalities against powers against the rulers of darkness of this age against spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places so we do have a battle a spiritual man always has a battle. If you're a Christian, you're always battling sin. You're always battling the lies of the enemies because the enemy, the devil, is it's roaring around like hallelujah, like a lion, trying to see who he can devour. So it's very real. Everything that is taught in the Bible is very real. He's trying to lure somebody, but once you say, you know, I resist you, devil, in the name of Jesus, he flees. Hallelujah. So it's a mere moment of temptation, or you know, trying to get you to sin, or trying to get you to watch something something that you shouldn't be watching hallelujah whatever it may be flee from that situation get away from it you know turn it off and walk away do something else hallelujah go read the bible or go go to the bathroom and just pray for a little bit go get a cup of water to drink Step away from sin, hallelujah. It's just a one minute of hallelujah giving in, hallelujah, that you have to fight with. Your, your flesh struggles at that time, but let that inner man in you rise up and you know, remember who you are. You're a child of God. The more you sin, the more stronghold the enemy has on you, hallelujah. Don't let the enemy have a stronghold on you, hallelujah. Paul states God has already delivered us from the dominion of darkness and made us his children. Once you are a saved child of God, you're sanctified you're justified you're redeemed by the blood of Jesus Christ hallelujah and Satan has no authority over us hallelujah claim that as a child of God I am the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus hallelujah Satan has no more authority over me sometimes the enemy will bring the old things that you have done or the old ways of life that we once lived hallelujah or things that have come in our past hallelujah he will try to bring that and tell you how, how do you feel privileged to stand in front of God you did this and you did that and remember who you were remember that how could you stand you're you're full of guilt and shame so he tries to to put that into your head but you know like use the word of god 
I am the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. I am justified. Hallelujah. I am I belong to Jesus Christ. I belong to the lion of the tribe of Judah. Hallelujah. I am a child of God. I am a child of the most high king Jesus. Hallelujah. He redeemed me. He already washed me with his precious blood. I am forgiven. If you are walking in unforgiveness, you know like give it to God and just feel like God I am asking for forgiveness and I want to forgive somebody. Hallelujah. That has wronged us. Hallelujah. Don't carry years of bitterness and hatred. Hallelujah. So, you know, the Bible in Galatians, it says, Hallelujah. If you drunkenness, rivalry, murder, hallelujah, um, hatred, all these things, hallelujah, unforgiveness, none of these, when we carry these things, it will keep us from inheriting the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. So it's very important to think that all these things are sin. If you have hatred in your heart, if you have anger, you know, all these things, the wrath and all the stuff, give it to God. Just be like, God, work on me. I need you. I want to be where you want me to be. I want to live that purpose-driven life. I want to do that, but God, work on me. Work on me. And sometimes, you know, it'll take a little time, but God will teach you. The Holy Spirit will teach you things. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. He made us qualified to share in his inheritance. Hallelujah. Another one of God's God's children's privileges is God made us qualified to share in his inheritance. In 2 Corinthians chapter 5 verse 21 it says God made him whom him who had no sin to be sin for us so that in him we might have become the righteousness of God. Hallelujah. You are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. Our righteousness, when we do things or when we try to help somebody and gain righteousness, the Bible says those are filthy rags. Hallelujah. Our righteousness of God in Christ Jesus is much higher, is much bigger, is much powerful. It has much importance, hallelujah, than our own righteousness that we try to create. So somebody, a, a God that had no sin in him, no sin in him came to this earth for you and for me and he died on that cross a very cruel death hallelujah he was he was mocked he was hallelujah. his beard was plucked out they put a, 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 thro a thorn of thorn a throne of thorns on his head and they crushed it into his skull and blood started coming out and they beat him they slapped him you know and, and so many things that they did to Jesus while he was while he was going up to that cross hallelujah taking up the cross and walking up to Calvary but he did not say a single word he was the son of God hallelujah he was the son of God he did not say a single word just in anticipation of the cross he took all that beating everything all the pain all the suffering hallelujah and that hard work that he did walking with a wooden cross on his shoulder for me and for you hallelujah and then he was nailed on that cross all for our sins and every ounce of of strength hallelujah he lost it and every every blood every drop of blood that he shed it was for you and for me so that we can have that inheritance so we can be redeemed hallelujah Jesus redeemed us and he bought our freedom from sin and judgment. So you don't have to live in guilt and shame any longer. So you don't have to live in condemnation any longer. Hallelujah. If you were somebody that is living in sin, hallelujah, let me assure you to cry out to Jesus. If you are addicted to something, hallelujah, I pray that you will cry out to Jesus and Jesus will set you free. Jesus will set you free. Hallelujah. Take that hallelujah chance today. Don't wait. Don't wait. Don't wait. Hallelujah. You do not know where your life is headed tomorrow. So take the chance today and cry out to the name of Jesus hallelujah and, in, and inherit what God has for you hallelujah Jesus loves you hallelujah Jesus loves all of us with all with all his heart hallelujah and his love is unconditional hallelujah he has released us from the power of death. He brought us out from darkness into his kingdom of love, life, and power. He gave us liberty from sin and death. Hallelujah. In Romans 8 verse 12, it says, He did not enter by means of the blood of goats and calves, but he entered the most holy place once for all by his own blood, thus obtaining eternal redemption. Hallelujah. Once we are in Christ, we do not. Hallelujah. We're a new creation. We're a new creature, hallelujah. Once we are in Christ, we belong to Jesus. Just think of all that dirt and that guilt and you know everything just flushing out, hallelujah, and just being brand new again, hallelujah. It's almost like you're standing under a waterfall that is clean and clear and crisp and pure. And when you stand underneath it, your body 
you know just feel so cleansed and you're you know you're you're all the sins are just washed away and you're washed in the blood of Jesus hallelujah once we are in Christ we do not need to fear the unseen forces of darkness because you're set free by Christ Satan has no authority over us hallelujah we are transferred from darkness to light from slavery to freedom from guilt and shame to forgiveness hallelujah walk in forgiveness today if you have surrendered your life to Christ don't let the enemy bring in the old things that you have once done hallelujah walk in the forgiveness of Jesus hallelujah walk in his forgiveness tell the devil when he brings these thoughts into your head tell me like I am forgiven I'm going to walk in forgiveness today. I do not want you to come and talk to me today. Hallelujah. Talk to the Satan like how you would talk to somebody that you really don't like. Hallelujah. Don't, don't hang out with me today. Don't come with me. Go somewhere else. Not today. Hallelujah. In Colossians 1 verse 15, it says, He is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn over all creation. One of the powerful statements describing the divine nature of Jesus Christ. Jesus is not only equal to God, but He is God. In Philippians 2 verse 9 through 11, it says, Therefore God exalted Him to the highest place and gave Him the name that is above every name. Hallelujah. That at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth. And every tongue acknowledge that Jesus Christ is the Lord for to the glory of God the Father hallelujah so Jesus is above all names he's the name above all names he's the king of kings he is the Lord of Lords hallelujah he has power over death he has power over sin he has power and authority over every creation in this world hallelujah he is the image of the invisible God and when you say image he means exact likeness Paul means exact likeness of God hallelujah now Jesus Christ he also reveals God in John chapter 1 verse 18 it says no one has ever seen God but the one and only son who is himself God and is in closest relationship with the Father has made him known. Hallelujah. So when Jesus came to this earth, he was trying to reveal the Father. Hallelujah. In Colossians 1.18, Jesus Christ as the firstborn over all creation has all authority because he is the Lord of all. Revelation 1 verse 5 says, Jesus Christ is the first one from the dead. He has power over death. Jesus was raised from the dead. Hallelujah. And when he came up, hallelujah, he broke up a lot of the saints with him. Hallelujah. A lot of the graves were opened when Jesus resurrected. Hallelujah. And that power of the Savior, when he rose up from that grave, hallelujah, he took a lot of the saints with him. Hallelujah. Praise God. His resurrection proves his lordship over the material world. Hallelujah. The material world, the world that we live in has no power compared to what Jesus is. Hallelujah. Heaven Heaven is so powerful God is so powerful hallelujah and remember he's not only hallelujah there so we he can he can be God but he is constantly fighting on our behalf he's constantly interceding on our behalf to the father hallelujah when the enemy comes in like a flood the spirit of the Lord will lift up a standard against him I do not want you to live hallelujah fearing the enemy hallelujah the enemy has no power over you, you have to speak it I belong to Jesus, hallelujah. I am a child of God. You have no authority over me. The enemy, you know, tell the enemy that. When he brings in these thoughts that you're not good enough and you're not you're not worthy enough, and you know, you you're oh you poor you, look at you just making you feel horrible and bad. That's what he does. In hell, that's what he does. All his people that are in hell, he, he you, I, I don't think they're having a great life over there. And I don't want to be there. Hallelujah. I want to be with in heaven with Jesus. Hallelujah. I want to be with the angels worshiping the God. I want to be with those, those people of faith that has gone ahead of me. Hallelujah. With the saints and my relatives and people that are there. Hallelujah. That, that are worshiping the Lord. Hallelujah. In 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 16, When the trumpet of God shall sound, the dead in Christ shall rise. Rise first, and all who are still alive will be caught up in the clouds to meet the Lord. Jesus Christ is fully divine, and He is fully human. Hallelujah. Never... Never think that oh he was the man of, he was a man and, and you know he was not a son of God. Never never you know try to like deestimate who God is. Hallelujah. Christ's death provided a way for people to come to God. It cleared away the sin that keeps us from having a right relationship with our Creator. This does not mean that everyone has been saved, but that the way has been cleared for anyone who would trust Christ to be saved. Hallelujah. When Jesus comes in the clouds, hallelujah, with that trumpet blowing with all the saints and all the angels, hallelujah. When He comes back, I want to be with Him, hallelujah. I want to meet Him in the clouds, hallelujah. I want to meet Him in the air and I pray that all of us that are believing in 
Jesus will be taken up. If you are somebody that don't know Jesus Christ, hallelujah. Let me tell you, if you would surrender your life to Christ today and pray this prayer with me, hallelujah. Dear Jesus, I surrender myself to you. I pray that you wash me with your precious blood. I believe that you are the Son of God. I believe that you came down to this earth for me and you died for me. Thank you for rising up again. And I believe you are seated at the right hand of the Father in heaven. I want to be a child of God. I surrender my life today. God, lead me and guide me. Holy Spirit, take over my life. I open my heart's door to you today. I want to be a Christian. I want to follow the pattern that you have set for me. I love you, Father. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. I pray, I pray that you pray that prayer with me. I want you to join a Bible-believing, spirit-filled church. Hallelujah. Get a Bible and start reading the Word of God. Hallelujah. The name of Jesus, hallelujah, is powerful. He, he, he died on the cross for our sins. All the fullness of God was in Him. He was not just a prophet. He was not just a teacher. He was not just a man. He was fully God. Hallelujah. I want you to believe that, that Jesus died on the cross for our sins. Hallelujah. He's fully man. Hallelujah. At the same time, he was fully God when he died on the cross. Hallelujah. So when, when he, he has set us here, he has given us a pattern to follow. Hallelujah. I pray that you will read the word of God and understand who Jesus is. He's full of power and he's full of authority. Hallelujah. He has reconciled us through the crucifixion. Hallelujah. He has reconciled us to God. We were far away. We were enemies with God, but through his, through his blood and through Jesus dying on the cross for our sins, he has reconciled again. Hallelujah to, G, to God. Hallelujah. So do not stay enemy of God. Be a friend of God. He loves us. Hallelujah. He's open with open arms. He's always welcoming us into his kingdom. Hallelujah. And some of the, hallelujah, when I'm talking about the supremacy of God, I also want to talk about some of the names of Jesus that was mentioned in Revelation. He is the bright and morning star. He is the beginning and the end. He is Christ. He is the word of God. He is the rider of the white horse. He is the faithful and true witness. He is the king of kings. Jesus is the Lord of lords. Jesus is the lamb, the root of David. Jesus is the lion of the tribe of Judah. Jesus is the beginning of the creation of God. He is holy and true. He is the son Son of God. He is the first and the last. He is the Alpha and the Omega. He is the faithful witness and He is Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I pray that God has blessed you today with these words. Hallelujah. If you were sick, hallelujah, just place your hand where you are and believe that Jesus will heal you. Hallelujah. Forg ask God to forgive your sins. Hallelujah. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for the one that is sick right now, Father God. Whether it may be COVID or cancer or whatever it may be, Father God, I pray for your healing hands. Just touch them right now where they are at father hallelujah lord i come against every attack of the enemy on their life through sickness diseases and pain father god hallelujah if it's financial trouble father god i pray that you send them a breakthrough in the name of jesus hallelujah lord your word says to ask anything in my name and it shall be done hallelujah father in the name of jesus i pray for deliverances and breakthroughs and sicknesses to be healed in the name of jesus hallelujah we love you so much god thank you for the anointing power of the holy spirit we love you, Father. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. May God bless you with these words. Please continue to pray for me and my family. Adhuriga Sangeetiya Vidhyagaludeyi Migachcha Sangeetiya Pravartagaludeyi Pinbelathil Christian Live India Eleven Innum Live Telecasting Na Arambam Kurushidi Kino. For more details, contact nine eight four six double five double two two zero.